I feel like grabbing you by your ears right now and screaming in your face, I'm not fucking interested. So this year, in 2022, we are getting not one, but two multiverse comic book movies. DC's The Flash, and Marvel's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And it seems most people are only excited to see one of them. Can you guess which one? Well, I put out a poll asking people which multiverse movie they're looking forward to the most. And The Flash won by a landslide. Psych! <laughs> Nah, The Flash got curb stomped. And honestly, I'm not surprised. It is a little crazy that more people are looking forward to a Doctor Strange movie instead of a Flash movie, but once you start looking at the reasons people are giving, then it all makes more sense. And so I figure, what the hell? Let's talk about some of those reasons. These are the reasons why people are hyped for Doctor Strange, but not The Flash. Being a white person isn't such a bad thing. So, for starters, one reason many people aren't looking forward to The Flash is the fact that ever since this movie was announced, which was back in 2016-2017, the movie has been delayed and gone through several writers and directors, and has kept this movie in development till hell until recently. And hell, right before they started filming, Ray Fisher was going to make an appearance as Cyborg, but he was cut from the movie. This was at around the same time he started speaking out about Joss Whedon, which means that even more script changes happened right when they started production. So that right there is already a bad sign. Remember this movie was supposed to come out back in like 2018-2019, but Warner Brothers drastically changed in their direction of their movies in 2017 caused countless delays, along with changing of writers and directors, and kept the movie in developmental hell. Doctor Strange, on the other hand, outside of being delayed once only by a few months, probably because they didn't want it to compete with the Batman, is basically right on schedule. The teaser dropped a few months ago after No Way Home came out, then the official trailer came out recently, and it's set to release in three months. So far as we know, there weren't any crazy production issues. And as far as directors go, they have Sam Raimi, so they already have a really recognizable name, but more importantly, they didn't swap or bounce around between different directors in the pre-production stages. So there's already more faith in that regard. So the development and production of these movies have been vastly different. One kept changing hands and bouncing around and being delayed, while as the other has had some pretty smooth sailing. But the biggest reason why I'm seeing fans say they aren't excited for The Flash are because of the rumors and speculations that this movie will be used as a way to soft reboot the DCEU and establish a new canon, and to introduce characters to replace others. So if you didn't know, Supergirl will be making an appearance as well as Michael Keaton's Batman. And on top of that, the Batgirl solo movie is coming out, and we'll have Michael Keaton's Batman as her mentor. And as far as we know, there won't be Henry Cavill as Superman, and this will be Ben Affleck's last appearance as Batman. So we're getting Keaton's Batman Batman for future DC projects, as well as Batgirl, and Supergirl with no Superman. What the fuck happened? Hey! Yeah, so to fans, it feels like a way for Warner Bros. to go, yeah, let's forget about all that early stuff in the universe, and let's just start bringing in some random shit, and we'll just go from there. Now, Doctor Strange is going to be bringing in other heroes from different worlds as well, but the difference is, it doesn't feel like they're bringing in these heroes to replace anyone. It feels more like a celebration of these characters. And you see, the MCU already introduced a multiverse in Spider-Man No Way Home, and did a good job at balancing the fan service and paying respects to previous Spider-Man franchises. So they already showed that they can do this multiverse concept on the big screen. So many fans have seen what they can do, and have an idea of how they're probably going to go about it, and how they're going to handle all these different characters. Now what's really sad about this, is that DC hinted at the multiverse years ago at this point, by having the DCU Flash meet the CW Flash on the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event, which was a little cameo, and they were dragging their feet for so long on this, that the MCU beat them to it, even though they hinted at it years ago. So fans are like, okay, you did a neat cameo on a TV show, but you didn't bring that shit into the big screen. And considering how well the MCU handled the multiverse concept in No Way Home, I think fans are confident that they can do the same thing in Doctor Strange. I think it also helps that the MCU spent some time messing around with that concept on their Disney Plus shows. So it has a lot of fans going, okay, yeah, I think they got it. And I think those are the biggest reasons. Got one that had a much smoother production from a studio that's already been playing around with the multiverse concept, while on the other hand, it feels like Warner Bros. is going to use this as a way to basically re-roll the cinematic universe. And I know Ezra Miller actually answered a DM from a fan in regards to whether or not Sanders movies are going to be erased from the canon in the Flash movie, and I think he said no, kinda. Basically said no one can erase Zack Snyder's work, which I guess doesn't really answer the question. They went on a tangent about the government or something? I don't know. Very interesting character. This is a message for the Beulahville chapter of the North Carolina Ku Klux Klan. Hello, first of all, how are y'all doing? People are literally calling the Flash movie the flush, like a toilet. They're saying it's shit. Well, all we can really do right now is just sit back and wait so we can see how these movies handle their multiverse. They both come out this year, so not much longer. So why don't you go ahead and leave a comment, let me know which one you're looking forward to the most, The Flash or Doctor Strange? Or what is it about The Flash that makes you not want to see it? Leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. Okay, that shit was ass.